right, so the last derivative rule that we'll go over this week is the quotient rule. Okay, so let's say you had a function, uh, w of x, I don't like, let's do, uh, yeah, let's call it w of x is equal to f of x over g of x. Okay, and we want to find the derivative w prime of x. Right. So with a little trick, we can actually just rearrange this, and then use the product rule to derive the quotient rule. I'm going to rearrange and use product rule. Okay. So what do I mean by that? I say let's multiply both sides by g. g of x times w of x is equal to f. Okay. And then let's use the product rule. So f prime of x. Right, this time f prime of x is equal to g prime of x times w plus w prime of x. Okay, and then I want to isolate w prime of x to derive my product, my quotient rule. Okay, so we say w prime of x, c of x is equal to f prime of x minus g prime of x, w of x. So then if I divide by g, w prime of x is equal to f prime of x minus g prime of x, w of x, divided by g of x. And then we're going to make the substitution, right, that w of x is equal to f over g. So if we make this substitution, now w will be gone from this and will be uh, almost there. So we have f prime of x minus g prime of x times f of x over g of x. All that over g of x. Okay, and then we just want to get everything to look nice, so we'll put g of x on the bottom. So we'll need to multiply this one by a g in order for that. Right, so this becomes f prime of x times g of x over g of x, right, so this is just multiplying f prime by 1, minus g prime of x, f of x over g of x, all that divided by g of x, right, and then now that both f prime times g and g prime f are both over their own, I can pull that g onto the bottom, okay, so this gives me f prime of x, g of x, minus g prime of x, f of x, all that divided by g of x, okay? So this is the product, or the quotient rule, okay? So for w of x being the quotient of f and g, the derivative of w is f prime g minus g prime f divided by g of x. So there's an easy kind of uh, way to remember that. It's the quotient rule, right? For a function i over low, right? The quotient rule says f prime of x is low b high minus high b low, where at the bottom and away we go, all right? So low, derivative of high, minus high, derivative of low, over low squared, okay? That's f prime g minus g prime f over g of x squared. Okay, let's do an example. Let's say we wanna know about this function here. Let's say f of x is equal to x cubed plus x over 1 plus 2x, 1 over plus 1 plus x. Okay, this is the same thing as, uh, oh, let's call this w, right? So this is the same thing as f of x over g of x, where f is x cubed plus 2x and g is 1 plus x squared, right? So f of x equals x cubed plus 2x, that is that f prime of x, 
right? This is a polynomial. We know how to take the derivative of polynomials, right? That becomes 3x squared plus 2. Right? Bring down the power. Bring the power down by 1. 2x is linear, so that just becomes 2. You could also think about that with the power rule, right? Bring down the power. The power is 1. And then bring the power down by 1, so then that'd be x to the 0, which is 1, so that just gives you 2. Right? And our other function is g of x is 1 plus x squared. So that gives us g prime of x is equal to 2x. Right? Derivative of 1 is 0, derivative of x squared is 2x. Right? So then we can apply quotient rule, so w prime of x is equal to f prime c minus c prime f, right? Low d high minus high d low, square the bottom. And away we go. Divide by g of x squared. Let's plug in what we have. So f prime is 3x squared plus q. d of x is 1 plus x squared. d prime, 2x, and f is x cubed. x, all that divided by 1 plus x squared squared. Okay. So we can factor this out a little bit on top to make it a little cleaner. All right, so this gives us 3 x squared x squared plus 3 x to the fourth and then this gives us minus 2 x to the fourth minus 4 x over 1 all right all right so then we combine things and we'll get let's see 3 x to the fourth minus 2 x to the fourth gives me 1 x to the fourth 3 x squared plus 2 x squared gives me 5x squared, minus 4x squared gives me plus x squared, and we have a 2. And then on the bottom, this is 1 plus x squared squared. Right, so this would be derivative of that whole quotient, w prime. w was x cubed plus 2x over 1 plus x squared. The derivative is then this rational function. Right, so you can ask questions like, is w of x always increasing? Right, which if you look at the form of it, might not be obvious. Right, x cubed plus 2x over 1 plus x squared. Well, the top looks bigger, but who, who's to say? Right, if we look at w prime, right, that's x to the fourth plus x squared plus over 1 plus x squared squared. Right. Top is always positive. Right? x to the fourth, the fourth power is an even power, so even if you put a negative number here, this gives you a positive number. Same thing with the squared, and plus 2 is always positive. Right? And the bottom is also always positive. Right. 1 plus x squared, so even if x is negative, this will be positive, so this will be 1 plus positive, gives you a positive number, and then you square it, so it's still positive. Right. So w prime of x is always positive. That means that w of x is always increasing, right. which might be hard to tell from a graph. Um, let's stop.